Ani, his party has just come out of its caucus. Yesterday you promised us that today you would let us know if you are going to be fielding a name or putting forward a name for nomination for president. Uh, what's the outcome of that? At this point in time we'll be putting up nominations for the speaker, the deputy speaker. And uh, ultimately we'll consult with the other parties regarding the other, the other positions. But at this point in time that's the focus that we're taking on. Because remember, we think that parliament and the fifth parliament uh, deteriorated. It got to a point where it wasn't exercising its duty as a legislative body that it should have been and we think that we need to contest for that position of speaker to make sure that job is done and done properly as far as the presidency is concerned there's an election that took place and uh, that's the electoral outcomes that stand what's going to be important going forward is that we've got to restore the credibility of this institution and then are you able to share that name with me I will announce it as the nomination goes in inside the house and I think it will be a competent individual, it will be someone who will be able to, who's run uh, for positions of speaker before and will demonstrate to the people of South Africa the offer that the DA wants to put forward. And Musi, um, with all the latest news that's been breaking this morning, specifically about uh, ANC Deputy President Didi Mabuza, who will not be sworn in um, today, that's been postponed. What, is, what are your thoughts on that? What cannot be denied is that uh, we need to go after people who have allegations of, of, of corruption. And what's going to be important is that just because he's not coming to Parliament does not exempt him from all the allegations that stand. It's the same for any other MP. Our ultimate objective is to make sure that we root out corruption from all sectors of society, from all forums of government. That would be what's important. And the State Capture Commission has already highlighted certain names, certain parties. Those parties must be dealt with. And I think that this is only but the start and we must continue to do the job of eradicating corruption out of all of our systems. Musi Mani, thank you so much. We'll catch up with you later on. Bye-bye. Um, well, I see we have lots of movement towards the National Assembly. Um, this means people are preparing to go into the chamber because the swearing-in, as I imagine, will be starting very soon. Um, there we have Natasha Mazzoni of the DA um, going up the steps. I think the entire DA caucus, in fact, has gone in. I haven't seen many other political parties, although there is a lot of movement further down the plane, which means people are probably making their way to the National Assembly now. Um, yes, so of course the focus of today will soon be moving into the chamber where the Chief Justice will be presiding over the swearing in. And as we heard later, um, early, well, we, we're now not going to to have uh, a, a second nomination, for instance, but for example, uh, from the DA for a presidential candidate. So that might cut the time down of the entire proceedings by a little bit. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, but the, the DA says it will field a name for the position of speaker. It says it won't be fielding a name for the position of president because there was an election. So it says that the speaker's position is really important and based on how things went in the fifth parliament, it feels it needs to field its own name for the, the position of speaker. So we'll see how that plays out later on in the House. But for now, we're going to go back to the studio and we will catch up with you in a little bit.